Okay, so here it is. Roger Federer, he has been criticized by Djokovic's dad, his father, saying, go do something else. So uh, it's very interesting, you know, Djokovic is, you know, we all know that Djokovic is not the favorite out of the big three. It's usually Federer, Nadal, then Djokovic. Uh, usually Federer is the number one favorite out of those guys, crowd-wise, popularity contest. But um, yeah, Djokovic's father has not really done him any favors by taking a shot at the at the GOAT. Uh, and we'll go through that now. So um, for a long time, Roger Federer was undoubtedly the greatest tennis player. And then obviously... The article says here that Djokovic and Nadal are now, you know, really, really close behind him. And we all know that. We all know the GOAT race. We all know, uh, you know, 20 for Federer, 19 for Djokovic, 17, uh, sorry, 19 for Nadal, 17 for Djokovic. And in my opinion, we've said, I've said this before, that Djokovic has the best, uh, probably the best run of being the greatest of all time by getting that slam record. Maybe Nadal gets 21. Maybe, you know, Djokovic gets 22. I can't see Federer getting too many more, especially with the injuries he's had. But this is what Djokovic has said. Sorry, Djokovic's father has said, why do you still, this is referring to Federer, obviously, why do you, do you think he still plays at 40? Imagine that, a 40-year-old man still plays tennis when he can go home and do some more, uh, something more interesting. But since both Nadal and Novak are breathing down his neck, he simply cannot accept the fact that they will be better than him. Go, man. Raise children. Do something else. Go ski. Go do something else. Uh, tennis is not my whole life, and it's just my son's current hobby. Now, that last comment, I that that's that is that kind of left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Like I get it. Djokovic's dad is very you know very passionate about his son's. You know, he he's been saying this for a while that you know, he's he, you know Djokovic is better than Federer, obviously because he's got a little bit of a bias because it's his son. Uh, but you know, and I think overall most unbiased fans would say that Djokovic is probably the best player uh, and has the potential to be in the goat. But it's just stuff like this that really doesn't help Djokovic's popularity in the in the tennis community. I mean, you know, Federer fans, Nadal fans already don't like each other and don't like Djokovic fans as much. There's always a rivalry going on, but then you got to, you know, especially someone who, you know, it's not like Djokovic said this. If Djokovic had said this, it'd be a different story. I think Djokovic has gone, hey man, I want to, you know, why are you still here? You're not even winning. That would be a different bit of, you know, but because it's his dad, it's like, just stay out of it. You know, you're not doing your son any favors by, by poking Federer fans and doing that kind of thing. And that last comment of, this is just my son's current hobby. I mean, it's your son's career. It's not his hobby. Uh, you know, many of us out there have jobs uh, that are our careers. It's not, you know, if you're lucky enough, sometimes your hobby can be your job. Um, but I mean, it, to say that it's his son's hobby, it makes it kind of seem like oh, he's just playing this now, and and then he'll go off and he'll go, you know, he'll go win, uh, you know, the Olympics and beat Usain Bolt in the 100 meters, or he'll go play basketball, or you know, it, it just kind of makes it feel a little bit cheap, like ah, oh, he's just he's just doing this for fun. And you know, and he's he's winning it, and uh, then he'll go do something else and, and win that too. I just don't like that attitude. That attitude just doesn't. It rubs me up the wrong way. It probably rubs up a, it rubs a lot of other fans up the uh, wrong way as well, especially Federer and Nadal fans. 